Hey drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com. Welcome to this full song lesson for my online subscribers. This was recommended over on my Facebook page, so today I'm going to teach you the song Heaven by Brian Adams, drums by the legendary Steve Smith. And I didn't know he was actually playing on this. He's a bit of a session legend, as well as doing his own things. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, Steve Smith playing drums on this song. So the tempo 71 BPM is a very slow ballad um, and it's, it's pretty much all played on the ride cymbal. From the start we get uh, this, these, these three stabs. The drums come in by the way at 46 seconds, the first chorus I've written. And what I believe Steve's playing is one, two, three. I don't think he's playing the snare drum on beat two the first time. One, two, three and four. And then he comes in with the back beat on beat four there. And four, and. We then just get very, very basic drum beats. One, two, three, four. On the recording, it sounds like he might be playing some little push notes with the bass drum, but I believe it's just the, it's the bass guitar that's creating that effect. It sounds like he might be playing. These little boom, boom notes being pushed in occasionally, but. I don't think he is, I think he's just playing solid bass drum on one and three only, um, and it's the bass guitar you're hearing, or I'm hearing, that's, that's creating that effect. But if you wanted to push, put some push notes in, um, then that's absolutely fine, it, it, you know, it, it will work with the song. So the first few bars, very simple. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. And then it continues, we get some crash cymbals in bar three on beat one. One, two, three, four. Same with bar four, crash cymbal on beat one. And then we get our first drum fill at the end of that line. One, two, three, and. And the drum fill is four, E, and. Uh, classic little uh, roll down the drums there. Roll down the toms. Starting with the snare drum. Four, E, and. Uh. Now I've written this, or transcribed this, um, for all four toms, because Steve is, is playing lots lots of melodic toms. Um, but when it comes to playing these drum fills, don't feel you have to stick to the toms that I've written. If, for example, you've only got two toms, and it's written for the, 
a high tong, a higher tong than you've got, then use your next highest tong, if that makes sense. So don't get hung up on what toms you're using. If it's going down the toms, then try to replicate that, but don't worry too much about it. It's the rhythm that I think is most important here, not which tom you play it on. So simple to start off with, four E and uh, you could play four E and uh, on your lowest tom, but I don't think um, Steve does, I think he plays just there. So we get one, two, three, and four E and a one, two again, three, 